What's up, guys? Welcome back to Modern Trader. I'm Ben. I'll be your host. And today, start off uh, excited to announce that we've started to give out cash prizes over at the Discord server. The link in the description. A few more details at the end. And we got a new logo. <laughs> and we're looking at the S&P 500 uh, ETF. Uh, the SPY that tracks the movements of the S&P hitting all-time highs over 400 and holding there so it looks like that's the uh, support for the time being and you can see over the past five years basically just an uptrend I mean with one good little divot there for the pandemic but uh, for the most part just upward momentum for the longest time and uh, this new $400 and uh, four thousand dollar on the actual S and P break is you know just good news for the market for the remainder of the year. Uh, see on the Nasdaq, of course, actually did suffer from the correction uh, from highs over fourteen grand back down under thirteen, but recovering nicely the past few days and going into April seasonally and uh, historically the best month of the year for trading. You know uh, we should see quite a bit of growth this coming month. Should be a should be an exciting time, guys. Now, that doesn't mean we don't keep our defenses up and we don't uh, anticipate dips in the market. You know, what goes up must come down before going back up. <laughs> but to that uh, mindset, today I'm talking about the uh, safety specs, which uh, have been pretty saturated the last couple months. So we're trying to exaggerate what we're looking for because we're not going to be seeing as big a movements because there are so many different sp uh, specs right now. People have their money spread out in. But as far as the safety specs are concerned, it's the same basic criteria. Uh, we're looking; these are stocks that are uh, spec companies, but you know, about to have a merger with a, a reverse IPO situation that are sitting right above ten dollars, which is uh, based on money they have to keep in trust before merger, is uh, pretty much guaranteed to stay right at that ten dollars and no lower. Uh, to borrow a term from Seth over at Stockwatch, these are basically stock market savings accounts. And like I said, they, we have to keep in mind this is pre-merger, that they're savings accounts. After the merger, they don't have to keep that money in trust. They can drop below that $10. But we want them to have upcoming catalysts. Uh, we want them to have a good story, something people can get excited about, like uh, you see with Lucid Motors recently. And we need to see some extra hype right now. We need to uh, be more... Uh, diligent about the criteria because there are so many options. Um, like I said, you can see on the graph here, the uh, the uh, definitive agreements per month have been skyrocketing, which means there's a whole lot more options, a whole lot more money, uh, <laughs> more places to have the money spread around to. But there is uh, good news and hype potential. Uh, you see ARC had issued an updated filing last week uh, providing a warning about specs and warrants in general, which means that that could indicate that they have to warn their clientele because they are about to do some more investing in SPACs in general, which should bring more attention. Um, first company I want to talk about today, as far as the safety SPACs though are concerned, is Thunderbridge. It's been one of my favorites for the last couple months. And I've been saying over and over again, not getting the respect it deserves, merging with Indy Semiconductor, which is an established company supporting the EV industry. And you can see here it ran up to about $14, $15, but, you know, right back down in the safety spec range. And uh, while most of the EV sector has been suffering the last month because of the worldwide chip shortage and then the subsequent fire in Japan making it even worse, um, Indy Semiconductor and by extension Thunder Bridge for the time being has actually been benefiting because... They've had uh, much, much higher demand of their product. And uh, you can see here is actually discussed on Jim Kramer's show, which is even more attention for the company. So that's pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of hype for a company that's already, I mean, it's already a decent company in my opinion. Like I said, not getting the respect it deserves. But right now we're trying to get companies with an extra hype, extra attention. And obviously this is uh, the kind of focus you would want to look for. So I see a lot of upside uh, here. Instead, Barely in the safety spec range, guys, so there is a little bit less safety here. <laughs> uh, another one that goes well with the uh, story aspect is uh, Vice uh, Media Group, which is a you know very popular uh, indie kind of media company doing more in-depth stories, but they got a huge fan base and a lot of hype around in general, and they are looking to enter the market uh, through a reverse merger with a SPAC company. In the near future, and I think that the you know they should get a pretty good amount of attention. Just you know, being something that already has a great amount of attention, 
could bring a different uh you know different group of investors to the table and provide some more capital in this one but they're going uh, public with 7g uh 7gc and holdings coast back company right now you see they're at, uh, actually just below that ten dollar floor so this one's about as safety spec as it gets at 994 i mean i personally have rarely seen these drop below about 980 and that's you know on the very rare occasion typically they'll hold around 1005 1004 if they drop to that floor at all well you see here with the at 994 i mean it's basically like that savings account aspect they the way to look at these is it's a savings account for the market up till pre uh as long as they're in pre-merger and uh just like a savings account you can't lose money but unlike a savings account you have a potential for 100 200 percent interest to be paid out you know just got to pay attention though to that merger date and make sure that you uh do close a position before then if that's what you're basing it on uh, i mean some of these you might feel are good long-term investments so you get in for the long term you know and this is just somewhere to load up with relatively cheap stocks if it drops after merger then you just bring down your cost average but if you're playing these as the savings account uh, aspect, you do need to make sure to be out by the pre, uh, time merger comes. And by then, you should have seen some kind of uh, catalyst reaction on the on the usual catalyst cycle. Uh, the next company I want to talk about is Kell Acquisition Group. I'm not sure if it's Kell or Quell. I mean, there's no U, so I'm calling it Kell. But you see here, they're sitting just above that $10 floor. You know, nice, solid over the past couple of months, just completely flat just proving the theory right there even when the market overall is dipping down stayed completely flat right at the ten dollar floor which is what you want to see in a savings account <laughs> but they uh they are merging with a company with a really cool uh story stock i think uh lilium they're uh making a flying car or actually been called more like a flying bus but basically flying transportation taxi type services and you know just the flying car thing you know just the cool story of being in the future with flying cars <laughs> but um sitting at 1019 you know i don't see a possible downside of 10 15 cents but i see a real real potential for hype i mean they've got a, just a really cool product obviously this is spec this is going to probably be years before they're actually making any kind of profit but with these plays in general that's what we're looking for. We're just looking for the hype cycle to play out so we can take money out of the savings account uh, with interest. And you, but you can see this is just a really cool product. I mean, it's all just uh, mock-ups, but I think it's something people could easily get excited about because, of, you know, it's like being in the Jetsons. We're from the uh, flying car age now. People want this to happen. <laughs> but uh, a couple more flying car companies, uh, spec mergers coming up. Uh, that my, I'm actually holding positions and adding to at the moment. Uh, ACIC, uh, Atlas Crest Investment. Uh, you can see they brought all the way down to uh, 10.08 after hours. So basically at the floor right now. And it had a decent little pop up to about $17, $18 on hype uh, right before the correction in general. Uh, just murdered SPACs. <laughs> but... Once again, over and over, we're able to see it play out that they do drop and they hit that $10 floor and then just move sideways. Uh, Reinvent Tech, RTP is another one. And uh, both of these, ACIC and RTP, uh, are included in the ARCX ETF. So here we have the story of the flying cars in combination with a great catalyst and hype potential uh, created by being involved with the ARC in general, but especially ARCX ETF right now, which is extra hyped up. So these ones I can definitely see having a good spike in the near future with a uh, green overall market. And because I do expect SPACs in general to recover, maybe not as great uh, runners as we saw before, but in general. Now the last company I want to talk about is Aero Farms. And this is one of the ones I was mentioning that I actually am looking into as a long-term position. And if it goes to drop for whatever reason after merger, just to add to. Because this is a vertical farming company based in America, New Jersey as a matter of fact. Merging with Spring Valley Acquisition Corp, the symbol SV, uh, to go public soon. But this is uh, uh, something that's a huge industry, I think, coming up. Uh, vertical farming in general is going to be completely necessary to the survival of the species. Um, farmland decreasing, water uh, availability decreasing, and uh, these vertical farms, you know, obviously increase land because they're in tiers, but also use about 95% less water. 
This is an important factor. I think this is going to be a huge industry and also benefit from government uh, support as well. So I think this is something to be supported over the next four years as an American company that we need to be putting money into. This is something I could see 10, 20 Xing from uh, the $10 thing. Uh, from in the next five years, this could easily be $100, $200 uh, share kind of company. And it's sitting right at the $10 level that we'd like to see. Uh, 1006 at the moment. A little bit of a run up, just about twelve dollars. You know, nothing, nothing huge, but you know, it's uh, proven once again though that ten dollar floor is valid. And um, you know, personally, I'm not too concerned with it here though, because I do like the company long term, and I just think ten dollars is a good, good starting point for a position. And like I said earlier, uh, more details in the Discord uh, before before I go and invite everybody over to the Modern Traders LLC Discord, and you can see there our new logo. And we do like to keep, uh, uh, it's a free, you know, free to join. We keep, uh, info and resources, FDA approvals, earnings, news catalyst. I like have ARCs trades up there. We'd have a premium section, uh, with daily call outs, uh, watch list, uh, SPAC list, swing trade call outs. Maybe, any, uh, just a lot of help for you guys. Uh, and we do, uh, believe in giving back to the members. Like I said earlier, we are this month starting up the monthly prizes, which I'm very excited about. And we do have prizes for our premium members this month, uh, the top earning percentage for the month, the best gains based on percentages. We get a $40 cash prize, and this uh, cash prize will be going up each month the more premium members we have. And for the free members, uh, top three get a free month of premium, and get in on that premium membership next month. Uh, but like I said, it's free to join. Uh, Lots, lots of perks. We're trying to make sure everybody gets a chance to try out premium uh, for free before having to pay for it. Make sure you guys like the services we get for uh, provided for you. Until next time, I'm Ben. This is Modern Traders, and thanks for stopping by.